Welcome out everyone, all of you great decoders around the world. My name is Logan and this is Decode Your Reality. And today, another instructional video on how to discover your name, Alchemology. This is part of my how-to series. Got a new little intro there, trying to make this fun. <laughs> but I get a lot of requests on how to do this. I've shown a lot of examples over the years through different people, places, and things. And I thought it was time to put together a little instructional video and uh, give it to all you great decoders. All, everybody that, you know, you could do your children, your pets. It's pretty interesting to do. So this is where you're going to use the periodic table and uh, bringing it into the science of numbers. I have this screenshot right here. You're probably going to want to save this, take a picture with your phone so you can reference back to it for easy access because you will be referencing these eight elements off the periodic table. So let's get started with this, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a pretty short video. It's a very easy step-by-step -step process. I'm going to give you a few examples. But what is alchemology? Well, it's something that I, you know, I came up with. I discovered it many years ago, and um, it's just very simply merging numerology, the science of numbers, kind of really where I got started in the esoteric, with the great aspects of alchemy. Numerology and alchemy, and I just coined it alchemology. So it's really simple, ladies and gentlemen, there's a it's a there's a three step process. And we're going to start with obviously the first one. And that is to obtain your name in numerology. Now, you can you use any cipher you want? Yes. But I'm going to suggest that you use Chaldean. Why am I going to suggest that? Because it is the oldest numerology cipher on the planet. And I have shown over and over how accurate this is in describing the narrative of our reality. So here's the website that I use currently. And we have our own site coming out soon. So the cat out of the bag, it's already been out of the bag. But anyways, this is the one I currently use called daysofcoding.com. And I'll leave the link in the description of the video for easy access for all of you. And you got to come up here and click on the ciphers and you have to make sure you come down to other right here and then check off the box right there. Okay. So this is the website that I'm going to be using. Um, it's a, it's, it's Chaldean. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the first step. Now I'm going to be using this as the example. I am, we say this a lot. So this has a lot of, a lot of importance in our reality. Okay, so now that we've gotten the name, now what we want to do is we want to convert it into alchemy. So that's step number two. <clears throat> We're going to match each number to its corresponding element. And this is what it's going to look like right here. Okay, so you have the one for the I, the one for the A, and the four for the M. One, one, four. Now you can do the total. Just simply do the total, and I'm going to show you that towards the very end to simplify your life. There are many ways to do this, but I like to get really deep down and dirty with this stuff. So two hydrogens and a beryllium, 114. And then what we want to do is we now want to add up all those elements, those atomic masses. And this is what it's going to look like right here using the trusty calculator. Hydrogen is 1.0. 1.0, 9.0. Now, those of you that are return subscribers, you know, hydrogen is listed as 1.008, but to balance it out with the decimal, it's 1.0. I'm trying to get this really, really tight now. And so therefore, I feel like this is probably the most proper way to do this. You can still do it with the full ones off the Royal Society of Chemistry, but this is the most balanced. And this is the outcome that we have is we get the number 11. Now, what do we do with this number 11? Well, we can tie it to sodium. We can tie it to boron. We can tie it to the Jack of Hearts card and the cards of illumination. Uh, we can tie it to the Justice card and the Major Arcana. There's a lot of ways to tie this number 11 in there, but let's not get a little premature. Let's get involved with a little bit more of an example because you're you personally are going to have much higher number than this once you do your alchemology. And again, why I'm suggesting Chaldeans, if you use 
the English language, you're going to get a very, very high number and you probably will not be able to link it to the outcome of an alchemical element on the periodic table. So this is why I'm suggesting primarily to use Chaldean. Okay, so let's first start off with a name example to give you an idea beyond the I am. And I'm going to start with this gentleman right here, which I've used many, many times. And you know, here is the white rabbit resurrections decoded. I broke down his full name with Carrie Ann Moss. I used the most abundant atomic masses at the time. This is when I first was kind of like really, really, really getting hot and heavy into this. And I showed how important this was, but I'm going to do this all over again using Keanu Charles Reeves as the example. So here we go. And, you know, as you know, he went by the character named Neo. That's what he's probably most famous for. And I mean, you know, it's an anagram of the word one. Okay, the one coming out of the zero and you have the binary system. But I'm going to show you how scripted this guy's life is beyond the producers that casted him and probably what he even thinks his life is all about. Okay. Once again, I'm going to show you how this methodology works. So here's his full birth certificate name. Now you can add your mother's maiden name onto that. Absolutely. And you should and get different outcomes. But remember your birth certificate name is the name that's stamped on that certificate. Um, it's on your driver's license if you have one of those. So it has a lot of say in how you show up in this reality. Okay. And first and foremost, we're going to get a total of obviously 67. Very simple. And I showed this, that he's holmium. And holmium is the most magnetic element on the periodic table. So just think about this for a minute. He got casted to play the, the savior in that movie. And this is the most magnetic element on the periodic table. This is going to reduce down to the number four. But um, we can also look at the outcomes of the name itself. So Keanu's a 19. That would be potassium. 22 is titanium and 26 is iron. And then you can add all three of those up, which I've done so many times, and you can get an outcome from that as well. But again, I want to look at the single digits all the way across the board to get the most detailed uh, information I can. But before I show you that, ladies and gentlemen, one other way that you can do this alchemology, okay? And this is not even alchemology, this is alchemy, is, and this is how scripted our reality is now. You can take the protons, and you're going to want to do this with your finalized alchemology of your name once you get it all down and down and out, okay? So you get the 67, and you can add it to the atomic mass of this element. So 67 plus 164 is going to give you a total of 231. And that's going to lead to this element called protactinium, which means the first. And what's so very fascinating about this aspect to do is that this gentleman right here, who got casted to play Lucifer, the most a really successful show on Netflix, his full birth's name, including his mother's maiden name, Hooper is his mother's maiden name, is that number 91. And his birth name is Thomas. And what was Neo's name? in the matrix besides Neo, it was Thomas Anderson. Coincidence? I mean, did they know this information, adding this stuff up? Maybe. <clears throat> Thomas is his, Jesus's twin brother. Okay. And there's just so many sinks with this. I'm not going to go into this. You can check out my final boss decoded. Okay. This is where this came off of, but you can see the power in that. We're just taking these and adding them up, the protons in the atomic mass from the total numerology of your full birth certificate name. Okay. And you can even do it again for the, with your mother's maiden name on the back end. But here's what it looks like when you break down all the single letters into all the single elements. So again, Keanu 25156, helium, boron, hydrogen, boron, carbon. Okay, we did the rest for Charles and Reeves, and then we just simply add those up, and this is what it's going to look like. 141.27. 141.27. And this is where you're going to get the scripted reality. So now we want to locate what element on the periodic table, and there's going to be several. So you got to do a little digging, and you got to remember that these numbers are going to encroach. They're going to slide. They're going to bleed into one another. So there may be many outcomes for you. But where's this 141 found? Bam! Right into neodymium, and there's neo. This is the actual most 
abundant atomic mass for neodymium. If you go to the Royal Society of Chemistry and you look at the periodic table for neodymium, you're going to see that the average is 144 because what they do is they take the average of all the stable isotopes and then they divide it by how many stable isotopes there are. And this is where you're going to get the 144. But the most abundant when you do your research of these isotopes is 141. The most stable, I should say. <clears throat> the most stable. So there are several ways to do this. And I'm still investigating. I'm still discovering, still researching. But it's pretty crystal clear. His name was Neo in the movie. It's right there. His name through alchemology is Neo. I mean, Neodymium. It's just pretty ridiculous if you ask me. And then obviously you can take the 60 and you can add it to the 141. And that's going to give you another outcome to take into consideration, okay, which is going to be the 201, which is going to tie to Mercury, the messenger. And he was all about bringing the message in the movie. So there are many outlets to take off just from this itself right here. And again, I did this through my white rabbit resurrections and the outcome I got was 143 because I did the most abundant atomic masses, which just moved up the digits by two. Okay. But neodymium has that atomic mass as well. So it didn't change the outcome there. Okay. But this is to me is the most uh, detailed that we can get. And this is how I would properly do your name at this stage of the game right here. So <clears throat> what would you do with that 141? Because if you get your total, right, your, your total is going to be right here. You can add these two up to get a different outcome. That's going to give you 168. Okay. And that's going to tie into erbium and many other layers that you can go into. But what about the 141? You know, like that's the big standout on the left side of the decimal. So I'm going to bring it into the string of the golden ratio. The website that I'm using, which I will leave in the description as well, is this one called sabidium.com. You can type in any digit here, you know, the 141, and you're going to be able to find out where it's going to be. Now, I want to point out to all of you that this does not include the one point. The, the golden ratio is 1.61. This only... Uh, utilizes the digits after the decimal. So you got to tack on a digit. So this is 456, but it's 457, including the one point. Okay. And that's going to give you this outcome right here. I had to adjust this. And what's so interesting about the 457, ladies and gentlemen, you go to numberempire.com, great website here, is that 457 is the 88th prime number, which is tied to radium, the Egyptian sun god, Ra. It's tied to time travel, it's tied to yttrium, it's tied to the number 39, 39 is tied to Lucifer, Lucifer is played by Thomas. Okay, this 88, because if you go to the periodic table and you look at the 39th element right here, it's going to have an atomic mass of 88. And the atomic, uh, the uh, protons is 39, and Lucifer in the original Hebrew spelling through the numerology is 39. Okay, 39. And remember, he played Thomas John, I mean, his name is Thomas John Ellis. He played Lucifer, and his name is Thomas Anderson. It's all scripted, folks. I mean, they're, they're, not, they're not coding it like this. There's just not, no way. Not at this level. It's too deep. We're discovering it now. And then just to kind of solidify the scripted reality and how beautiful this is, and I hope you find some great things with your own name, um, the Nine of Diamonds is his birth card. He was born on September 2nd. The Nine of Diamonds is card number 60, and there's the 60 tied to Neodymium. It's the 35th card in the deck, and that's tied to the word simulation. Showed this all on your on television. This is my your on television decoded. I showed how how de how scripted Carol Charles Reed's life is, using mathematics, alchemy, the cards of illumination, and the science of numbers numerology. But this is all about alchemology, and you can see how beautiful this is. I hope you get to find some nuggets with your own name, your kid's name, your pet's name etc etc and you may ask what name do i use my my married name go with your birth certificate name then you can add your married name on there and just keep a log of all of them and see what you get maybe you can go buy some averages this is really new so you know i, I can't really answer a lot of the questions that people are having because you, I, I don't know your full entire life i don't know what's going on in your life i don't know what numbers are attached to you right the addresses that you were born at your school you went to the phone numbers these are all part of your code Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here's the last example talking about the matrix, right? So now we're going to decode 
words. And this is a filler word, right? The. It's a, it's a filler word. The word the is 14. Okay, and then matrix is 17. The word life is 17. The word actor is 17. And that's what we're all playing out in the matrix. And so then we're just going to do the same exact situation here for these two words. And we get the number 65. Point forty three, And if you add them up, you're going to get 108. That's tied to Uranus, and it's tied to life and death if you watched uh, some of my previous decodes. Okay, but the 65 is very interesting because then you can go to the uh, string of, of the golden ratio, type in 65, and you're going to see, remember, you got to tack on a digit here. It's going to be 30 and 31. And what is 30 and 31? 61. And what's 61 on the periodic table? Promethium. How big has this been? <laughs> how, how, go watch my Prometheus decode. How big has this been? If you watched my last decode on scripted reality nine, how big Prometheus, it's tied to the I am that I am, folks. It's just so massive. This 65 was in my last scripted reality nine. Okay, the matrix. Matrix coming from the word Maya, it means illusions. Right, and so there you have it. That's how you do alchemology, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of this presentation, part of my how-to series. I hope you got something out of this, short and sweet. And again, if you're wondering, like, what do I do with my outcomes? Keep a log of them. Okay, a lot of you have have done that. I I can't answer. Like, if you have an outcome of 65, if you have an outcome like Keanu Charles Reeves, like I couldn't tell you what this is going to mean for you. Okay, and. You got to go look up the periodic table and you got to check out what numbers are going to be linked to what element. And then you got to start to keep a log of these things. But you can clearly see how scripted this guy's life is without without a shadow of a doubt right there. Tied to his card. You can tie it to your card. And then, you know, do your numerology of your card, your cards. You can have primary cards, your spirit card, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. How to do your name alchemology. Hope you had fun with this one. Anyway, that's all I got for today. My name is Logan for Decoder Reality. Until next time, we will see you later.